Let me push. RC Jedi here with my friend Ben bringing you a brushless install video for the Blade Nano CPX. Ben, what do we have here? <clears throat> All right, we got the Asteroid Designs mild brushless kit. Comes with the HP 03S 13,500 kV brushless motor with a little carbon collar. You've got a flashed ESC uh, with a yellow signal wire and it also comes with a few plugs there for the motor. You've got some frame mounting hardware. We've got some extended servo screws for the left and right servos. And we've got the spacers and some 24 gauge wire. We've got an iPad with the instructions and we've got for tools we have rosin core solder a sharp exacto knife cutters double sided tape sandpaper screwdriver glue flux scissors double sided tape and beer <laughs> alright the first step is to disassemble the helicopter I'm going to pull off the canopy. All right, we're going to take off the main board, the two side servos, the drive system. We we'll start off by taking off the main blades. Alright, we're going to pop the links off of the uh, blade grips. There we go. I'm going to pop the. Uh, kill that. I'm going to pop the links off of the swash plate. And so I don't have to readjust these links. I'm going to set them. Um, I'm going to separate the right and left. The back one is real easy. All right, I'm gonna pull off the landing gear. Set that aside. I'm gonna pull off the main gear. I've already used debonder to uh, break the CA off. All right. <clears throat> Once that's off, we'll pull the main gear straight out and set it off to the side. Now I'm gonna main. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna unplug the main motor and the tail motor from the board. and unplug all the servos from the board. And it's uh, really important to hold the, uh, the housing for the plug in there. Uh, they, they can come off the board, so make sure you keep a fingernail in there to avoid that. And eventually There you go. It's pretty easy to, uh, <clears throat> or you won't get confused over the configuration of the servos. The uh, the rear servo goes in the middle, left goes on left, right goes on right. So just unplug them. Don't worry about trying to mark them or anything. Get this tail tail unplugged. There we go. Pull the tail boom out, set it off to the side, <clears throat> you can unplug the uh, left servo here, or unscrew the left servo. Set the screws off to the side. Alright. Now I'm going to I'm going to keep my servos by my servo links so I don't get them confused, just in case. Right. <clears throat> I 
That's that. Go ahead and pull off the main board. This little magnetized pad is great. Just drop the screws down and don't worry about losing them. Be careful not to rip your uh, antenna wire off of the board when you pull it off. There we go. That's that. Alright, so there's what I have. Disassembled the entire frame. Now I'm going to pull the, mo the, ma the stock motor out of the frame. Hopefully I didn't use too much CA. <clears throat> I hope that little crack was glue and not my frame. <laughs> Let's try it again. You know, it's a funny thing, I only got 14 flights out of my stock motor. So I decided to order the brushless kit, the brushless kit. And I've got about 50, on, 60 on this one. It's still going strong. It's just my luck, right? As I order the brushless kit, this one's just fine. All right. So helicopter is disassembled. Now we're ready to start the frame modification.